Okay, so solution to uh, the error message, your claim cannot be processed at this time. All right, now usually this is pretty easily resolved. Um, go to the link in the description. You'll see send electronic message. Go ahead and send uh, a message to the unemployment office electronically explaining that you got the error message. Your claim cannot be processed at this time. Tell them when, to tell them the date, and the time that you tried to certify, and the fact that you got the error message you claim cannot be certified this time. Um, then try certifying over the phone. Use one of the 50 local phone numbers for unemployment offices listed in, listed in, listed in the description below, because um, any one of them you can use to uh, certify over the phone using an automated system. Um, when you call them and enter your social security number, they'll tell you which day of the week you are able to certify over the phone. There is no time restriction here. So on your specific day of the week, you can certify by phone anytime between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. to my knowledge. Um, so even when the unemployment office is closed at four, you can still do it via the automated messaging system. Um, that way you don't have to worry about that pesky half an hour time window uh, that you have to deal with with the electronic certification system. Um, now usually this solves the issue. Um, the New Jersey Unemployment Office receives the electronic message, basically an email, uh, within two or three days. Uh, then they fix the issue and then, you know, next week, you'll be able to certify not only for that week, but for the week before then as well. So you won't lose that week that you weren't able to certify. Um, now, if this doesn't work and um, you're two or three weeks in and you're still getting the error messages and you call to certify over the phone and you're getting error messages when certifying over the phone as well, every week you get the error uh, message online and you're unable to certify over the phone you want to write down those dates and times that you attempted to do so keep a very meticulous record of that and then you want to start mailing the unemployment office every week with a letter describing how you try to certify electronically you know on the web via the website and via the phone and the error messages you received so send a and send this by certified mail every week. The reason you want to do it by certified mail is certified mail provides you with a receipt, which provides you with proof that you mailed it. And then the post office will require a signature from one of the representatives at the unemployment office um, to receive the mail. So that receipt will provide a sort of tracking number with a required signature, which will which will prove that the unemployment office got your letter. So if it comes down to a legal matter, you have proof that you attempted to certify that you mailed them several times and they never addressed the issue. Um, so if you're now four to five weeks into the issue, that's when you have to contact your local state assemblyman and ask them to uh, intervene on your behalf. Uh, people have done this before where you know it's been five weeks they haven't been able to certify for five weeks. They've tried everything, and they ultimately have to reach out to their local state representatives, their state congressmen. In New Jersey, they're, New Jersey, they're called state assemblymen. You can also reach out to your local state senator and ask them to contact an employment on your behalf, and usually that will do the trick. Um, if that doesn't work, just stay on top of your state assemblymen and your state senators to uh, fix the issue. Um, and again, well, I guess if that doesn't work, then it's time to consult a lawyer. So that's your solution to your certification cannot be processed at this time on the New Jersey Unemployment website. Thank you. Again, all the information is in the description below.